Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on polynomials. In this video, we'll be looking at the remainder theorem. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on polynomials. So we look at the statement. The polynomial p of x when divided by x minus a, where a is a numerical constant, the remainder is p of a. This p of a is a numerical constant. This is called the remainder theorem. In addition, if p of a is equal to zero, then x minus a is a factor of p of x. Otherwise, x minus a is not a factor of p of x. So we now look at some problems on application of remainder theorem. So we start with problem one. So for problem one, we have to find the remainder when p of x equal to x raised to the power three plus two x squared minus five x plus one is divided by a x minus three, b x minus one, and c two x minus three. So we start from A. Starting from A, we have X minus 3. Then we now look for P of 3. That is, if you equate X minus 3 to 0, X will be 3. So we are going to find P of 3 by substituting X is equal to 3 in the polynomial. So we have 3 raised to the power 3 plus 2 into 3 squared minus 5 into 3 plus 1 so this is 27 9 times 2 is 18 negative 5 times 3 gives negative 15 plus 1 so simplifying this we have the remainder as 31 so we go to b for b we're going to look for p of negative 1 since x plus 1 equal to 0, x will be negative 1. So wherever we see x in the polynomial, we put in negative 1. So we have negative 1 raised to power 3 plus 2 into negative 1 squared minus 5 into negative 1 plus 1. So negative 1 raised to power 3 gives negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1 times 2 gives 2 and negative 5 times negative 1 gives positive 5 then plus 1 simplifying this we have the remainder as 7 then we go for c for c um, we are going to have p of 3 over 2 because if we equate this to 0 take this to this side it becomes positive 3 dividing both sides by 2 x becomes 3 over 2. So wherever we see x in the polynomial, we put 3 over 2. So for x cubed, we have 3 over 2 cubed plus 2 into 3 over 2 squared minus 5 into 3 over 2 plus 1. So this is going to give us 27 over 8. Then here will give us um, this is 9 over 2, then minus 15 over 2 plus 1. So to simplify this, um, I'm going to express them as mixed fractions. So I have 3 whole number 3 over 8 plus 4 and a half minus 7 and a half plus 1. So simplifying the whole numbers, so we have 3 plus 4 gives 7, 7 minus 7 gives 0, then plus 1, we have a 1 there. And remember, half minus half gives 0. So we are now left with what? 3 over 8. Therefore, the remainder is 1 whole number, 3 over 8. And that's all for problem 1. We then go to problem 2. For problem 2, the polynomial p of x is equal to 2x3 plus ax squared plus bx minus 30 
is divisible by x plus 2 and leaves a remainder of negative 35 when divided by 2x minus 1. Find the values of the constants a and b. Um, in our solution, we are told that x plus 2 is divisible by the polynomial, which means the remainder is going to be 0. So we are going to find p of negative 2 and it to 0. Then we will now be having two unknowns. So since it leaves a remainder of negative 35 when divided by 2x minus 1, um, we equate 2x minus 1 to 0, then find the value of x, and now we use the corresponding value of x to find p of whatever value we have, then we equate it to negative 35, that will give us the second equation, we then solve simultaneously to get the values of a and b. So we now have it as p of negative 2 is equal to negative 16 since negative 2 cubed gives negative 8 times 2 gives negative 16 negative 2 squared gives 4 times a we have 4a and b times negative 2 gives negative 2b and then minus 30 is equal to 0 then we simplify um, this is going to be 4a minus 2b is equal to 46. Negative 16 minus 30 gives negative 46. Going to the other side gives 46. Then we call this one equation 1. Then to get equation 2, since the polynomial leaves a remainder of negative 35, when divided by 2x minus 1, we said we are going to equate 2x minus 1 to 0 to get the value of x there, which is 0 0.5 or half. So depending on how convenient it is for you, I can use fraction, I can use decimal. So in this video, I'm going to use decimal, which is p of 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.5 cubed multiply by 2 that gives 0 0.25 and also 0 0.5 squared gives 0 0.25 multiply by a gives plus 0 0.25 a then plus 0 0.5 b minus 30 is equal to negative 35 then this is multiplying through by 4 Multiply this by 4, I have 1 plus a plus 2b minus 120 minus 140. We are multiplying through by 4. Since 0 0.25 times 4 will give us 1 and so on. So collecting the like terms, I have a plus 2b is equal to negative 21 after collecting the like terms and simplified this is equation 2 now you can see we can easily eliminate b since the coefficient of b in equation 1 and that of equation 2 are equal except the sign since the sign is negative and positive we are going to add equation 1 and 2 4a plus a gives 5a, negative 2b plus 2b gives 0, so 46 plus negative 21 gives 25. So dividing both sides by 5, a is equal to 5. Then we now substitute a is equal to 5 in any of the equations. So we are picking from 2. If we have a is equal to 5 here, and we take it to the other side, we'll be left with 2b is equal to negative 26. Since negative 21 minus 5 gives negative 26. Dividing both sides by 2, b is equal to negative 13. So we have succeeded in finding the values of the constants a and b. And that is all for problem 2. We go to problem 3. 
For problem 3, the polynomial p of x equal to x3 plus px squared plus qx plus r leaves the remainders negative 8, negative 24, and 42 when divided by x plus 1, x minus 1, and x minus 4, respectively. Find the values of the numerical constants p, q, and r. The fact that they are not divisible by all these factors, we have to now substitute p of negative 1, p of 1, and p of 4, and equate it to negative 8, negative 24, and 42 respectively, to form three equations, because we have three unknowns. So in our solution now, we are going to find p of negative 1, since x plus 1 equals to 0, leaves x to be negative 1. So we have p of negative 1 substituting. We have negative 1 plus p minus q plus r is equal to negative 8. And uh, taking this to the other side, p minus q plus r is equal to negative 7. We call this one equation 1. Then again, we go ahead with the second divisor, which is p of 1. That is, if we equate this to 0, we are going to have x equal to 1. So that's why we are finding p of 1. So in that case, we have 1 plus p plus q plus r is equal to negative 24. That is after substituting x is equal to 1 in the polynomial. Then simplifying further, p plus q plus r is equal to negative 25. We call this one equation 2. Remember we took this to the other side, which becomes negative 24 minus 1. And the result is negative 25. So we go ahead again to find p of 4. Since x minus 4, if we equate it to 0, x will be equal to 4. So we have p of 4. So this is 4 raised to power 3, which gives 64. This will give us 16p plus 4q plus r is equal to 42. Simplifying this, I have 16p plus 4q plus r is equal to negative 22 that's 42 minus 64 and we call this equation 3 we want to eliminate p and r here because if we add them now this plus this we give it this this plus this will give us this if you subtract this will go and we'll be left with q so we say equation 2 minus equation 1 so p minus p gives 0 q minus negative q would give us 2q r minus r is gone minus 25 minus negative 7 we give minus 25 plus 7 which gives negative 18 and q is equal to negative 9 we've gotten q and from here again we can now combine equation 3 and either 1 or 2. So if we do that, R will be eliminated. And since we've already gotten the value of Q, we will now substitute in the value of Q to get P. So in that case, we say equation 3 minus equation 1. 16P minus P gives 15P. 4q minus negative q will give 5q and r minus r is 0. So negative 22 minus negative 7 will give negative 22 plus 7 which gives negative 15. So since q is negative 9, so 15p minus 45 is equal to negative 15. Negative 9 times 5 gives negative 45. I take this to the other side. 15p is equal to 30. p is equal to 2. Since we've gotten q and p, 
we can now choose any of the equations substitute to get the value of r so from equation 1 2 plus 9 minus q since q is negative 9 it becomes plus 9 plus r is equal to negative 7 where r is negative 18 this is 11 going to the other side it becomes minus 7 minus 11 which gives negative 18 and we have succeeded in finding the values of the numerical constant p q and r where p is 2 q is negative 9 and r is negative 18 and that's all for problem 3 this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on polynomials until we come your way again goodbye